right, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad, and in today's video, we're playing Inscription. Uh, do we still have sound? Okay, cool. I kept playing a little bit to explore some more in the area. I died a few times, but when you die playing this way, it doesn't like restart you from the beginning or anything. You just go back to the last waypoint, like he explained before. Um, really, I'm not sure what all's going on exactly. I'm still trying to collect some money. I've gone back to that shop that we passed to see if we can get anything. And I think we trade. I don't remember what happened with the rabbit's pet. I don't think anything specifically happened, basically. Let's see what's across this bridge. I tried to come in this way before and died and uh, couldn't really figure out. Well, not really couldn't figure out, but just I died. I think I died at this fight, too. I think it was on the bridge. So not much further than where we were anyways. And I had come back, beat the fight that we lost to and then kept going. But it seems like stuff, new stuff seems to be occurring on the opposite side of bridges. So it'd probably be cool to check out what's over here. The alarm club gives more power to the thing that I'm facing against. This will kill that and the card behind it, so this will be a better spot for it. And it'll take it out before this. Although I will take two damage, which will put me at a, ooh. No, because yeah, that's gonna come in. I'll take three damage actually. Uh I could nuke the field, but that doesn't help me right now. Maybe I lost already, huh? There's no reruns in this one either, but that is because there's just a waypoint that you go back to. And I can pretty much walk back to this point. So once I get back here, we'll try it again and see. Or at least I'll go and pick up that bag so I can get all my money. Okay, I got my I got all my stuff back, everything like that. I think uh, I've died to this fight twice. So I'm going to go check out somewhere else first and see if there's another way. This looks like a hidden way, but I don't think it is. I think we went this way last time because there's just money right here. And if not, there was money right there, and I grabbed it uh, off camera. Oh, wait. There's a lot of, like, not necessarily hidden, but just unmarked paths. Like, clearly, you could be, you would be able to walk there. So it's not necessarily hidden. Okay, well, that led us in a circle. Let's check out this direction and see if we have better luck. We already have a fight. We also still have all of our equipment too, so we didn't mess up as bad as we did last time when we came back. Okay, let's see what's going on in this fight. Something that I've noticed too is using these latchers can be an offensive thing, even though like they give buffs, quote unquote. Well, they add sigils, but this bomb sigil can be used pretty well against the enemy. Uh, especially if you can get down the right creature and to block the right one too, because it's going to die either way, it does no damage. So it's a good sacrifice. And if you have the right sigils, it's a, a good setup for other stuff too. I don't actually need to put this down yet, but. Put it down now just so I have something already in defense for the next round. Yeah. On the right spot, but still better than nothing. Huh. Okay, I can get this to work a little better. The center is going to die when, I, when it's used to take this out, but it prevents it from attacking me. But I might as well put it over here so it at least does damage to this when it first comes in for sure. Because I can remember for sure how like the mechanics of Burrow works, but I want to make sure it gets hit. And I'll put this here for now because even if uh, actually I could break it. And hold my defense. 
Oh, I should have broke it and put a and put it on the. Yeah, no, nah, that was a bet. Well, it wasn't the worst play. No, I think that was the best play, actually. I think that, uh, what you call it, got hit twice. If I put this here to block one of those hits, if I dealt any damage, no one's dealt any damage. Okay. Oh, I still have a ring on my finger. Cool. Huh. I don't think this is going to have the effect that oh, I'll put it here. Damn, I can't do that. All right. Okay. Take the shield bot out and put the gunner in its spot. Gotta let me survive this round. Put that there for defense and then eventually when it breaks, I'll get a random card also. I'll just hold on to this one for now because nothing it has is going to deal any damage. I can put that there because when it blows up, it's not going to deal damage. Well, it's not going to take out that card is really what I mean. Got a bomb latch here. There we go. Put a bomb latcher in front of it just in case it still gets uh it doesn't get insta killed. Oh yeah, I got hella hella money like on my way back to this point too. Uh what's this gonna do? Uh this is a cool one. Interesting. So he's going to supercharge a card, but if it dies, it can never come back. So I'm going to lose the card forever. This is my card that has the most defense already. So it might make sense to give it to that least likely to die out of nowhere. Although this card is played the most defensively. And if it does, uh, when I do play it, I usually play it behind cover or in a spot that it's probably not going to take damage and then preserve that. So, I don't know which one's going to be better. I think I'm going to try and see if I can chart because I don't want to lose this card. This card is fine by itself because it insta kills anything. So, it doesn't actually need a damage buff. What is this? Uh, a card bearing this sigil has increased power, but if a card bearing this sigil perishes, it's permanently removed from the deck. So, it only adds one. Okay, cool. I mean, at least it's going to deal damage. I do play it in a... Yeah, maybe it's not the best. Whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. Nothing else in this direction. If we go back this way, does anything else come up? No. We already went that way. So the only way we can go is now to this bridge. All right. Let me just stop being shitty now. See if I start with anything good too. I think I did. Well, really, starting with a sentry drone is the best, especially with like everything coming in with one health. Sentry drone does enough damage, and with the burrow ability added to it, it's perfect for this early game defense. But that's if you get it. Well, if I get it, I guess whatever. This card in next. 
Or I can deal more. I'll put this card in next. That way I can put it as a shield on my sentry drone if I need to. If it works out that way. Which it doesn't look like it will. Actually, yeah, because that's going to come in, block the sentry drone. It's going to die. Sentry drone gets the shield and it's also going to take out that flying drone. It's also shield bot is pretty good because it's a pretty strong defensive and offensive card with its like one hit survive one kill one hit that should kill uh thing and if it got more health it would be able to take more hits before it dies because it's when it dies not when it takes the hit uh can't put you down yet i'll put you down in the place just for defense for the next round if we need it and even if not, I can uh, break it and get a random card. I'm going to put this down instead first. That way it kills itself after we attack so I can hit that shield knight once and then also guard from its attack instead of immediately losing my uh, whatever the one is that hits twice. Uh, and it also leaves that in the way though, but I'll just put it down in a second. Also that card, I don't need to play it every time. So it is kind of better because if I am going to lose it, I'm at least going to lose it in uh, a scenario where I had to. He already... I think my drone already lost its shield, but it's kind of in the way at this point, so that's fine. All right, let's see what else we can find. We should be getting close to whatever the beacon is. Ah, shit, we got the star overhead. We did find another person and beat them, uh, too. I didn't record that one, though. Uh, items replenished, and those bots are back. Those bots back there are permanently offline. Okay. Uh, so I guess we're inside the facilities now, so let's check it out. A Uber bot. I uh, guess I'm trying to get a quick in and out. What is this? This is another charge up of a card, right? I did lose the sniper last time. I wonder if this unkillable when a car bearing this sigil perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. I want to see if that maybe could negate it. There's one saying it's going to destroy, remove the card from your deck, but the other one saying it's going to put it back in your hand. So theoretically, if it's removed from your deck, then it's removed from your hand. So it shouldn't come back. But let's just see what happens. You know, that's what happened when I found out that, uh, well, that's how I ended up with, uh, what was it? King X that had the, uh, super strong ability. It's been a while since I got some new cards though, too. gonna make a creature brittle that actually i'm gonna take that now i can make if i have an opponent that's too hard for me to fight i can make them uh break their own card basically let's see what's going on in here first because i haven't seen this symbol before slash forgot what it was using one of my cards to trade off i like both of these but shield knight's definitely gonna have to stay I just got another card for defense. So I guess I'll swap this one out. And I think I have another one too. Oh, that was the card I get. Um, I 
I don't know, man. I'm still gonna hold on to that one because it directly kills them. I would have took a different one if I knew this. Uh, it also doesn't increase the amount of cards I have in my hand. This one's gonna go. Actually, that flying defense, but I usually kill them with just the drone anyways. So I'm not worried about that. Oh. This is a different style of game too, but I just don't know if I've seen a game similar to it. Cause I was kind of talking about how the last mode was kind of flat. It's kind of like a Legend of Zelda type play. And this one has a different style of just like box to box motion, like blind box movement that I've seen in a few other games also. Oh, we got another one. I can't remember. I think this is the one that I got while I was recording on my own. Or not recording, but just playing on my own. He take the ability of the card that killed him. That's what it looks like. Uh, put that down too early. Damn, that's that's kind of shitty. Oh, well. Uh, don't have any power left and I do want to block that card before it comes in at least that flying card I also want to be able to deal some damage too I'm thinking about using this but it feels like it's a little too early I don't need it just yet okay he did come in first It, but okay, I guess that doesn't count as an attack. Okay, whatever. I was hoping that would immediately take it out. I just want to see it happen. We put those down in a different order too. Uh, I'm gonna lose if I don't use this. All right. Thing do damage yeah take that take that out first we want to take that out oh fuck <laughs> i didn't see that thing coming in damn all right well well, we just spawned right outside, though. So we should be able to just walk back in and get that. Uh, But let me get that, because I think I have to fight back in there, too. Never mind, it literally took two steps. Oh, yeah, that's because I was trying to get into that room. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. Um... Okay, so I have to go to the left then. So going up to the middle, I need to sign a contract for some random shit that's probably gonna be like signing my life away. And then to the right, I need a key. So I'm gonna go left, I guess. I was gonna end the video, but I don't know. I, yeah, no, <laughs> we've barely been gone. Let's keep going.
a drone that I have is the best starting card ever because it, it really does pretty much kill anything that comes in and most things that come in have one health so anytime I start without it it's just a whole different game and that's also most of the time Oh, fuck, I always do this. I'm supposed to put that over here and then put this card or one of these cards next to it to be able to kill on the uh, turn. Like I could have put that card. I could have put this right here, right? And then put this, put the, the buff next to it. Eh, whatever. Put it here just for defense at least. Um, let's see if I'm going to actually win this one. Uh, I guess we can test this now because otherwise I could use my thing to clear the board, but I don't know how much longer this is until I get to the next waypoint. And this is the first fight in this section of the dungeon, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to say that because it still feels like D&D-esque to me. I just have to deal one damage to this card and I'll survive the next turn. No, I won't. Pretty much, I'm gonna have to sacrifice it or lose, basically. Okay, so I was hoping I was hoping that it would let me get the card back in my hand. I expected it to just pick the card up and take it away though. But good experiments to do. You gotta I always gotta check and see if you can break the game or make a little make a little loophole for yourself. A B. It's been a second since I've seen one of these. Energy bot's another one that's gonna die if I let it get hit. Oh, this takes no energy to put down. Okay, cool. Perfect. Cool. I was trying win in such a way to maximize the amount of money that I'm going to get. And then usually I, I haven't spent much money in this like run through, I guess. Uh, we got another well. Okay, I guess that's the writing utensil. More money. I assume they're going to be a key in here too, right? That are the writing utensils. What's going to let me get in there? Oops. I don't even know what I'm giving them access to though. Okay, there's a save point, that's good. 
Oh. So this. So I guess they're just like statues that are sitting here worshiping this other statue, it looks like. Oh. Okay, so he does a little transformation too. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Um Shit. All right. Well, <laughs> A bunch of librarians. What's this going to be like on death? I'm going to take my card. When a card bearing this sigil perishes, select a file, place damage on the scale according to the file size. So it's pretty much going to die and take over. Basically, our deal bonus damage to me after it dies is what it looks like. I might wipe the floor immediately and see what happens when that ha when I do that. I want to lose another one of my cards back to back like that because I might have to. Oh, that last card didn't have the sigil. I don't know what I was talking about. Anyways. I can't take all of those hits. Uh, like that. Oh, yes, sir. Okay, cool. It does save the car. Great. Love that. Now, if I can get a sniper bot, that would be nice. No. What do, you, what do you mean? I'm I doubt that. Uh, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Whatever. What's happening? I don't like the way they're phrasing stuff. Is this going to be my actual fucking computer files? Because I have a C and a D drive. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Program files. Oh, these are the actual files on my computer. That's crazy. Um, The size of the file that I pick. Okay, so I got to find a small ass file in here. Uh, not the recycle bin. Uh, 28B is B bits. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Was that going to help me? Oh, my goodness. I didn't realize it was a good thing for me. God damn it. I should have chose like, I don't know. Uh, what's this kind of shield? Shield you. Okay, let's try now. Uh, the, 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 uh, let's see, I should probably blur the name of all of my files, huh? This 
one says it's seven gigabytes. I don't even know what this file is. Okay. That's if it let me go into my actual fucking files. Let's see, I know I got some game files downloaded. I think I have Halo downloaded actually. Oh, never mind. Okay, cool, great. Some tiny shit's the only thing I could choose. All right, now this drone is finna start helping out a lot. I feel like this is supposed to be like intentionally uh, suggestive. It was like, I hope no one's watching. I'm finna get in your files like you can't stop me type shit. Like it sounds real aggressive. I don't know how I'm, there we go, cool. Was that only round one? Great. And one that shows age. Ooh, I clean off all the files on my PC constantly. Let's see if I can find like Minecraft or some shit on here. That's probably the oldest thing on my computer. Ah, Audacity got to be up there too. If I can pick anything in this file. Uh, it's some random file in the audacity operating system. So I should be cool. Cause okay. Ooh, those drones helping out a little, uh, anyways, what is this saying? I, yeah, if it if it deletes this file, I'll be fine because I don't use Audacity anymore. Uh, let's see, everything's gonna die. Ooh, those cleared the space for that to hit too. That was even better than I thought it was. I already see I'm gonna try and start breaking this one by putting this sigil on anything that I'm trying to. <laughs> excuse me, empower. All right, well, it's pretty much over now. Let me put in the actual boss card too. You know, why not? There's some good damage. We're gonna get some good money out of it. I don't know what this face is too. I didn't look at it too hard. I've done very little deck building decisions. I kind of just pick cards randomly at this point. I'm still trying to get used to the deck. Rank and file. Okay, so that was the first boss for this area. All right, cool. Do we have to activate different beak. What the fuck were we? What's the main goal of the? Yeah, I probably know more than I do, but like, what's the main goal of this area? Or like, what are we trying to do to beat this section of the game? I guess. What's this? Okay. Ooh, what are we finna fill these with? Okay. If it's not gonna deal damage, it can always defend damage and it already has two health too. That's gotta be the best choice. I feel like dude's always skeptical of what we choose, but also we're the one who saved him from his last setup where he was stuck in a fucking card. So, ooh, memory card is full. Uh.
All right, so we got some more videos to watch, but that's where we're going to kick off the next episode. So for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All that stuff helps me grow the channel. I don't think I said that at the beginning, but uh, I'll see you on the next one. And we're going to figure out more about what's been going on in the real world of, I don't know this dude's name. What is he? The Lucky Carter, Luke Card or something like that. Yeah. All right. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.